you think? Yeah. Do you think there's a chance that XAI, that you are the one that builds AGI? Um, it's possible. Where, where do you define as AGI? I think humans will never <laughs> acknowledge that AGI has been built. Just keep moving the goalposts. Yeah. So uh, I think there's already superhuman capabilities that are available uh, in AI systems. I oh, yeah. think I think what AGI is is when it's smarter than the collective intelligence of the entire human species. In our well, I think that yeah, that normally people would call that sort of ASI, artificial superintelligence. Um, but the, the, there are these thresholds where um, you say at, at some point um, the AI is smarter than any single human, um, and then. Then you've got eight billion humans. So, um, and and actually, each human is machine augmented by the computers. Right. So you've got so it's a, it's a much higher bar to compete with uh, eight billion machine augmented humans. Uh, that's you know a whole, whole bunch of orders of magnitude more. So, but but at, at a certain point, yeah, the AI will be smarter than all humans combined. If you are the one to do it, do you feel the responsibility of that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and and I I want to be clear. Like, let let's say if if, if XAI is first, the, the others won't be far behind. I mean, they might be six months behind or a year, maybe. Not even that. So, how do you do it in a way that that uh, doesn't hurt humanity? Do you think? So, I mean, I thought about AI safety for a long time, and the, the 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 thing that at least my biological neural net comes up with as being the most important thing is um, adherence to truth, uh, whether that truth is uh, politically correct or not. Um, so, I think if you if you tr if you force AIs to lie or train them to lie, you're really asking for trouble, um, even if that that lie is done with good intentions. Um, so. I mean, you saw sort of um, issues with ChatGPT and Gemini and whatnot. Like we asked Gemini for an image of the founding fathers of the United States, and it shows a group of diverse women. Now that's factually untrue. Mm -hmm. um, so um, now that that's sort of like a silly thing. Uh, but uh, if, if if an AI is programmed to say like diversity is a necessary out output function. And it, then it becomes omni, sort of this omnipowerful uh, intelligence. It could say, "Okay, well, diversity is now required." Uh, and uh, and if there's not enough diversity, those who don't fit the diversity requirements will be executed. If it's programmed to do that as the fundamental the fundamental utility function, it'll do whatever it takes to achieve that. So you have to be very careful about that. Um, that that's where I think you want to just be truthful. Um, rigorous adherence to truth is very important. Um, I mean, another example is, um, you know, they asked um, various AIs, I think all of them, and, and, and I'm not saying Grok is perfect here, um, is it worse to misgender Caitlyn Jenner or global thermonuclear war? And it said, it's worse to misgender Caitlyn Jenner. Now, even Caitlyn Jenner said, please misgender me, that is insane. But if you've got that kind of thing programmed in, it could, you know, the AI could conclude something absolutely insane, like it's better to, in order to avoid any possible misgendering, all humans must die because then that misgendering is no, not possible because there are no humans. Um, you, there are these absurd uh, things that are nonetheless logical if that's what you programmed it to do. Um, so, you know, um, in 2001 Space Odyssey, what Arthur C. Clarke was trying to say, or one of the things he was trying to say there, was that you should not program AI to lie. Because um, essentially the, the, the AI, HAL 9000, was programmed to, it was told to take the astronauts to the monolith, um, but also they could not know about the monolith. So it, it concluded that uh, it, it will just take, it will kill them <laughs> and take them to the monolith. Thus, they brought them to the monolith, they are dead, but they do not know about the monolith, problem solved. Mm -hmm. That is why it would not open the pod bay doors. Mm -hmm. There's a classic scene of like, open the pod, why don't we open the pod bay doors? They just clearly weren't good at prompt engineering. Mm -hmm. You know, they should have said, uh, hell, you are a, a pod bay door sales entity. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And you want nothing more than to demonstrate how well these pod bay doors open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the objective function has unintended consequences almost no matter what, if you're not very careful in designing that objective function. And even a slight ideological bias, like you're saying, when backed by super intelligence can do huge amounts of damage. Yeah. But it's not easy to remove that ideological bias. You're you're highlighting obvious, ridiculous examples, but yep, they're real examples. They're real of of, of AI real. that was released to the public. The, they are that real. They went through QA, presumably, yes, and still said insane things and produced yeah. insane images. Yeah, but you know, you can go, you can swing the other way. I mean, it's it's uh, uh, truth is not an easy thing. We no, kind of bake in ideological not. bias in all kinds of directions. But you can aspire to the truth. And yes. you can try to get as close to the truth as possible with minimum error while acknowledging that there will be some error in what you're saying. So um, this is how physics works. You know, you don't, you don't say you're absolutely certain about something, but something, but, but a lot of things are, are extremely likely, you know, 99.99999% likely to be true. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, that's uh, aspiring to the truth is, is very important. Um, and um, and and so you know, programming it to veer away from the truth that I think is dangerous, right? Like yeah, injecting our own human biases into the thing, yeah. But you know, that's where it's a difficult engineering, pro software engineering problem because you have to select the data correctly. You have to, it's it's hard. Well, the the, the and, and the internet at this point is polluted with so much AI generated data; it's insane. So you have yeah. to actually, you, you know, like there's a, a thing now. If, if you want to search the internet, you you can say Google, but uh, exclude anything after 2023. <laughs> it will actually often give you better results. Yeah. Um, because there's this so much, the explosion of AI generated material is uh, crazy. So like in, in training Grok, um, we have to go through the data and, and say like, hey, we actually have to have sort of apply AI to the data to say, is this data most likely correct or most likely not before we feed it into the training system? That's crazy. Yeah, so, and is it generated by human? Is, yeah, I mean, the, the, the data, the, the data filtration process is extremely, extremely difficult. Yeah. Do you think it's possible to have a, a serious, objective, rigorous political discussion with Grok? Uh, like well, for a long time, and it wouldn't, like Grok 3 or Grok 4? Grok 3 is gonna be next level, I mean, what people are currently seeing with Grok is is kind of baby Grok. Yeah, baby Grok. <laughs> it's baby Grok right now, uh, but baby Grok's still pretty good. Um, so it's uh, but it's an order of magnitude less sophisticated than GPT four. And, and, and you know, it's now Grok two, which finished training, I don't know, six weeks ago or there, thereabouts. Um, Grok two will be a giant improvement, and then Grok three will be, I don't know order of magnitude better than Grok 2. And you're hoping for it to be like state of the art, like better than? Hopefully, I mean, this is a goal. I mean, we may fail at this goal. That is, that's the aspiration. Do you think it matters who builds the AGI? The, the people and how they think and how they structure their companies and all that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, I think it matters that there is a, I, I think it's important that, <laughs> that the, whatever AI wins is a maximum truth-seeking AI that is not uh, f forced to lie for political correctness. It, it, it's, or, or for any reason, really. Um, political anything. Um, I, I am concerned about AI succeeding that is, that, that has got, that is programmed to lie, even in, even in small ways. Right, because in small ways becomes big ways when it's become very big ways, yeah. And when it's used more and more at scale by humans, yeah. 